Hello again. I do not own the rights of this video. I mean the music in this video. And uh, I'm back with y'all just to show you one more dish I'm preparing. And this is a rotini uh, salad. I guess you can use any pasta you have. I mean, you know, it's, it's pasta that you need for this. So here it is, the rotini. Let me see, I know I'm in the light here. It's there. Okay, and it's still with a little bit of steam coming out, but it's pretty much now uh, cold. It's not hot anymore. Okay, and um, I like it. You guys know al dente. You can do it a little um, softer, however you like your pasta. I have over here, I don't know if you can see over there, in this skillet, I browned some corn. It's already roasted, it's brown, and I'm gonna add it to this salad, okay? I'm going over here, just adding this. And the reason I roast it, because I want that smoky flavor in there. And I had already let it cool off over here in the skillet. So it's not just out of the pan. You gotta let it cool off. Yeah, let it cool off for a little bit. Okay. See here? We got our corn. Now, forgive me that I am a little bit jammed today, but I got a lot going on. So I'm just gonna bring you and tell you what all you need in this salad. Excuse me, I'm bringing your hand. Okay, so we have tomatoes, and it's, you can use cherry tomatoes, grape, grape tomatoes, any little tomatoes. You cut them in a half or in four. These were a little big, so I cut it in four pieces. Onions, cucumber, okay? This is going in the salad. You know, for the summer, I think a, a pasta salad with all these nice and colorful veggies is very refreshing. I can appreciate that when they have a salad at a party, okay? Okay. So we kind of bring it like this, incorporating the pasta, and you want the pieces of cucumber, onion, and uh, tomatoes all in there. To this, I will add some olives. You can buy them already cut up or diced, uh, sliced in little rings. But what I had, it's the whole one. So I'm gonna be cutting them and I will also cut a little bit of red onions. I'm gonna put this aside and all you guys are gonna do is see me cut a little bit of less than half I'm gonna add you can add as much as you want okay I hope you guys are enjoying your 4th of July to me cooking and I am very grateful that I will spend it with family because that's what they are to me if your family is far away I hope you have good friends that you can consider your family because it's important to have good people around your life, especially in the holidays, okay? So see, I, I got a little bit of red onion, okay? Bring in the salad back, just add it over there. Put it in there, and then we're gonna mix it all together again, okay? Now, Guess what I'm gonna add? I had some chives left, and I don't want them to go bad. And chives, all it is, is they have the flavor of onions, spring onions, if you wanna call. Okay, and I'm gonna use them up. I don't throw things away. You can always find a recipe or throw them in eggs, whatever, but you don't throw them away. It's just a little bit left. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
and plus the pretty color it's going to add some beautiful color some are a little dry but you can always remove the one that are a little dry okay I'll put it over here I'll bring you over here in a moment okay and I have some water boiling because we're going to do the boil in a little bit okay and uh, so I have like the red onion, I have the um, chives I added. There was one more thing I was gonna add. Yes, it's the cilantro. Let's see. Um, here. I'm telling you, we have pots. I have food everywhere, but it's gonna be so worth it at the end because Eating, you enjoy eating by yourself. Sometimes you want to eat by yourself. Sometimes you need your own space. But eating with people that you love and sharing food, it's priceless. And I, I love it. Sharing, I share with who I love. And I don't mind doing all what, that I did, you know. Because really cooking takes time and energy especially a lot of food for a party but it's so worth it okay so i kind of bunch it like this put it in a bunch okay that's the cilantro and go and do very little cuts see almost like shredding it that's what you're doing shred it that's what we're looking for here and if you got part of the stems there it's okay as long as they are tender stems got the same flavor you you want to just get rid of like the ends but other than that it's flavor and it's got texture for your salad See now, I'm just gonna go and do it against it like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna bring salad over here. Beautiful. This is so, so, so good. All right. And I am not making a vinaigrette. I could, but I found this one from Kraft. Sesti Lime, and it's what I will be using today. Just imagine that lime with all these flavors here. You can use any vinaigrette. Italian. This is just my taste today, but really there is no uh, whatever you like. But I will, I will say for this type of uh, recipe, kind of like a vinaigrette, you know, not something too creamy unless that's what you want. But it works very good with this. It's a zested lime vinaigrette. It's not a dressing. It's a vinaigrette. Okay. I'm shaking it because everything went in the bottom, so I want all those flavors in there. Now, one more thing. We got to cut the olives. I almost forget. Because I love olives. I don't know about y'all, but I love olives. See, I got the whole uh, olive can, but it's okay. I'm not going to run to the store and look for the others. And I... I'm going to get rid of this uh, and rinsing them too. Okay, my hands are clean. I've been cooking, so I constantly clean my hands or wash them. Okay, so we go here. If you like them like these and little pieces, I like them sliced. And if it 
it's too many of them you can always keep some in a baggie in the freezer or refrigerator if you're gonna use them soon okay let me check my food over here in the back looks nice cooking the beans remember and boiling water for my boil all right these are olives black olives I guess you could put um, green olives if you like but this salad pretty much I've always done it with black olives mm. it smells so good I will keep the rest and I'm going to put them in a little bag in a little bit. I just want to salad here and let me add this to our salad. The salad really grows with everything that it has, like the vegetables. Okay, let me clean my little cutting board here the smell <laughs> okay look at this mm -hmm. okay I really thought this was a big big um uh, bowl I think we got it mm -hmm. now at the end before they eat it you could dice some avocado on the top but don't put it now because it will turn black and you don't want that you can serve it on the side so people can add to the salad so let's see first we're going to use the dressing before I attempt to add salt and all that because we don't know how salty this is okay how salty the dressing is I'm gonna add some water to the pinto beans here because water is drying and we don't want them to burn and I like my beans with a little uh, Juicy, I don't like them too dry. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna add this, okay? Any vinaigrette that you like, but this is zesty lime. Here we go. Mm, the smell, oh, 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 oh. all right, not that much is what I added. They can always add more if they like when they come, okay? Now, let me see if I can do it better with this. We'll be tasting for salt and all that. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. You can imagine the cilantro, the lime in that vinaigrette. Trifle salt now that it has the vinegar. I mean, the vinaigrette. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think this needs a little salt, and I'm going to be using seasoning salt. Because remember, all those veggies needed in the pasta 
main thing the pasta. Mm -hmm. So we do the same. Mm. Wow. 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 I'm trying to see what else it needs. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder. Just a little bit. Okay. And a little bit of dry parsley. Oh my God, that music and this salad. Trying to be careful. And you do have to wait until the pasta cools off because you don't want, first of all, you don't want a hot salad. And then you don't want it to be sticky. Let's try. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Now, a little bit of more of this beautiful. You see, when I cook, I taste, I add. Your taste buds, your palate tells you if it needs a little bit more of something. Okay? So, same. Be careful. And we don't stir hard because you don't want to break your salad, your pasta. You want everything to look nice and big the big pieces i mean the entire piece of the pasta you don't want anything um mushy everything has to be exactly like this look like that okay and here is our pasta salad now let me see you hello hello i'm gonna try it with y'all Hope you're having a wonderful fourth. Whoo, my goodness. Some tomato in there. Some for you and some for me. Mmm. Very good. Taste is good. I almost forget. I'm glad that I saw it. With everything I have going on, I'm going to add a little bit of cheese in there. I got mozzarella. You can add parmesan, whatever you like. It just needs a little cheese in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is different variation, different type of this salad. I people add you can also add some parsley Happy 4th, honey. 
Thanks for your service. I hope you're not working, but if you are, this one's for you. Mmm. We're making some pasta salad. Delicious. This is your pasta salad here. There you are. One more dish. And we'll keep on doing more. I will be doing my boil pretty soon. So I'm going to show you what I will be cooking in my boil. We'll be frying some fish. But aren't these beautiful Dungeness crab? And I'm gonna go shake on my fire outside and some Red King crab legs. Okay, we'll be doing more of that. I'll bring you in in a little bit, but I'm gonna go check outside my fire. You guys have a blessed day. Keep cooking.